Just a heads up before this video gets started, I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna curse. This is gonna happen, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter or who don't watch anything on my community page, um, <laughs> I got a strike. I got another strike, and I am finally off the strike from Komiso or whatever the f because they ended up dropping the two strikes that I had, and then the third one never dropped, so I just had to wait out the time. And I waited it out, and I got it, and we're good, and all that. So... With that being said, I had a beautiful two months of not having a strike on my channel. Okay, two months. And within those two months, I've crossed 34,000 subscribers with you all. Um, we're getting more comfortable with the reviews. I'm finally getting into the swing of things, making things more consistent. I have a schedule, I have dates, I have things that I can do. And I know when I can do them and I get them posted and Everything was comfy, everything was good. So things were good for those two months. Things were very good for those two months. Then, after a long waiting period, we finally get episode 14 to probably one of my favorite abridged series out there, which is episode 14 of SAO Abridged. And I watch it, I enjoy it, I make a reaction video of it. And minute 20 minutes, 20 seconds, to 20 minutes 47 seconds was auto claimed by the YouTube algorithm for something. I didn't get a chance to check because I was at work, so I said, okay, whatever, I'll deal with that when I get back home from work. Um, then I go and I check, well, I didn't even check, I go and I go to watch a video on YouTube during my break, during lunch, and I am told I need to go to copyright school again. So I just look at that and know that something is f***ed. So, with that happening, um, I get a strike on my channel, and it's from Sony Music Entertainment of Japan. And I'm fairly certain that I was claimed for a video, or not a video, for an audio, something in the audio for that time frame. I haven't gone back and checked yet, because I'm gonna do that once I'm done screaming about this having to make this stupid video. So anyway, that comes up. I see it. I take, I go to copyright school. I pass it because literally every time this shit happens, I pass it because it's easy. And I see that it was a manual claim, a manual takedown. So here's the thing. <sighs> if I'm going to get claimed, if I'm going to get claimed, why the f is SAO Bridge episode 14 still up? Why the f are there still all of these reaction videos posted? What is it about me? <laughs> what the hell did I do to have all these issues with these <laughs> copyright claims? Why? What the hell did I do? What did I do? Somebody explain to me what the f I did, whose Cheerios I pissed in to mean that every single f time I have the slightest inkling to do a reaction on something that I think is cl like clear, free to do, I can do it, I don't monetize these things, which is the other thing that pissed me off, I'll get to that in a minute, but I don't even know where to go for it, it's, it's a rant, let's just rant. So I don't monetize these videos, period. Like, I don't do that, it's somebody else's content, it's a non-profit fan-based parody, I'm not gonna profit off a non-profit fan-based parody, and to the reactors out there who monetize their reactions, of shows and of um, these reactions for a bridge series, especially when they're nonprofit, you are a problem. You do not monetize somebody else's content. I have my own problems with companies who actually own the content monetizing my content. I don't have as much of a problem because they made it, so I'll give it a pass, but either way, pisses me off when people do that. You do not monetize somebody else's content when all you're adding is a reaction. I don't do it, you shouldn't do it. So I don't monetize these things. I am clear of all, well, I was, I was clear of all these copyright claims, completely clear of them. And the ones that I had been claimed was from a claimant on behalf of another company. And I know these people now. I've, I've, I've emailed them. I know how they work. I know the rules. I follow the rules. And that's why the reviews are pretty straightforward. I know how to do those and not get in trouble. Um, because they fall under fair use and they fall under additive content and blah, 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 and all that fun shit. So why, why can 
something witty entertainment post their entire video and it doesn't get taken down why can all these reactors post their videos and don't say it's because i showed the video because and don't say it's because the audio was too loud because i went and looked at other reactors they're monetizing these videos some was running mid-roll credits. You don't do that shit. You don't run mid-roll ads on a video like that. You don't run ads at all on a video like that. And you're running mid-roll so that people who want to continue watching have to see those ads. I don't put mid-roll uh, ads on my videos. And if I do, they're on long reviews that I spent a shit ton of time on and I'm very proud of. So you are a piece of shit. So I watch these videos. They're monetizing them. They're putting the audio at like like half volume or three quarters volume. They're not quieting it down by much. And on top of that, um, I was, somebody asked me like, oh, did you make the video too big? I, I made it no bigger than anybody else. And in fact, I made it smaller than most other people's. We had somebody that I saw who basically was like them down in the corner against a green screen, chroma keyed out. And they are the ones who are like, oh yeah, everything's great. Volume's almost all the way up. And they're just this little thing in the corner and the whole episode's playing. They didn't get a claim. Something Woody who literally made it, I'm repeating myself. <sighs> so why can they post these things and do these things, and yet here I am getting bent over and I am so pissed off right now, it is not even funny. I had some sushi to try to calm myself down, I drank some kombucha to try to calm myself down, and I just, as soon as I sat down in front of the camera and started dealing with this, I just got more and more and more pissed. I just wanted to put this video out there because I feel like I'm obliged to let you guys know what's going on with my channel because this is something we build together because I appreciate community, I appreciate entertaining you, and I appreciate actually feeling like I'm a part of something bigger because you guys enjoy what I do. I enjoy doing this, and I enjoy making these videos, but the moment, the one instance over the course of almost four months the one instant, instant that I decide that I am going to post a reaction video to an abridged series, I get a copyright strike. You can't make this shit up. Like what the f I literally, I haven't made a reaction video to a long form episode of anything for almost four months. And I've been, I'm working up, I'm getting myself so worked up, I just filled my activity ring. I have not made a video on a full episode in four months. And in those four months, life has been great for my channel. Everything's been awesome. Yes, we've had to rebuild, but I will take a rebuild over completely starting from scratch. And I'm not in any major trouble. It's not so much that I'm angry that I'm about to lose the channel. That doesn't piss me off. What pisses me off is the inconsistency and the fact that YouTube claimed this under a like small claim. And then it was just a notice. It was a copyright notice. Hey, this part belongs to you or to, to Sony. Just a heads up. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll deal with it later. I'll take it, I'll take it and fix it and whatever. And then like 45 minutes later, Suddenly, I've got a strike on my channel because I guarantee you, Sony Saul got the email because I get emails all the time from people who re-upload my videos and I'm notified of that. And because I'm notified of it, I have the option to strike them. I don't because I'm not an asshole. But I guarantee you, somebody at Sony's PR department ended up seeing this and going, yeah, f them. They, they posted something that belongs to us, strike it. They'll, they'll learn. They'll, they'll know better. <sighs> so I now have a strike on my channel. Um, I'm, I, let me just get into the logistics of what I got to do this evening if you stuck around this long. So I'm going to send an email out to copyright-cat at sonymusic.co.jp. I'm going to send an email to their counterclaim or to their, to their, um, retraction request division, um, so that it can go into a trash bin. And I'm going to send a counter notice through to, uh, YouTube so they can tell me to go f myself and once we're done there um i'm just gonna put fairy tale up tomorrow because it's recorded but i gotta go through this shit tonight which means that it's probably not gonna be up before like midnight so i'm just gonna post it tomorrow and write off the tech review for thursday and we'll have funny friday as normal so me i guess i'm just i'm so 
tired and worn out and, and done with this because I enjoy making reviews. It's actually been one of the most creatively fulfilling things I've done in the past few years. I'm loving every minute of being able to do these reviews. I'm loving watching these shows that I haven't had a chance to watch before because I haven't had the time because I'm like focused in on two or three shows I have to do reactions on. Like I'm writing a first impressions on Demon Slayer because with the with the fact that I'm doing these shows, I would have never really had an opportunity to keep up or, or, or watch Demon Slayer. Um, and now I'm watching it and I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm loving Fairy Tale for the fact that I can take what I've known and what I've learned over the past nine years of watching the show and put it into a review. I love doing that. I love, I love watching new stuff like Fire Force. And even th that only gets like 100 to 200 views for, per video. But you know what? I don't care. People point out how I used to get, you know, five, six, seven, eight thousand views per video when I did reaction videos. Yeah, but that's because a lot of people, a lot of people like watching the reaction and I'm not going to discredit them, but a lot of people came just to watch the show. And I know that because every other comment was shut up and make the screen bigger. Shut up and I wanna watch the show. Shut up, where can I find this without your dumb face? I got so used to that. And I know that that's what people came there for. And that's why I got four, five, six, seven, eight thousand views. Whereas if I get a hundred views, but they're very, but people are engaged. That's what matters to me. And I love doing that. And it just solidifies my decision to go with these reviews and to go with that format, it solidifies my decision to do that and it puts zero doubt in my mind that that was the right decision when the one f time I decide to make another reaction video to a whole show, I get a f copyright strike and now I have to deal with this again. And this one would, ex if, if I can't get YouTube to pass this and take it off my channel, if I can't convince them in a thousand words or less that this was a wrong uh, strike, if I can't do that, this does not go away until January 7th of 2020. That's three more months I gotta deal with this So I have no doubt in my mind that moving to reviews was the right decision. I'm sorry that you guys have to see me so pissed off, but the problem is, is if I didn't make this video in this state of mind, I wouldn't make this video at all. So I'm gonna have a lot of censoring to do and I don't give a shit about it because it's just what I have to do to get my thoughts out on video, let you guys know what's going on because I wanna keep you guys informed because I like being part of a community where people talk to one another and enjoy what we do. And if I am if I can't do that without getting a strike on my channel, then why, why do I even have a YouTube channel? I'm not saying I'm gonna close my YouTube channel, but I enjoy making what I make and I do enjoy making reaction videos to a degree, but it's of funny things, things that I think have a wider appeal that, like, I'm not gonna go and get into the, the intellectual brilliance and how the writing of SAO Bridge is, is funny. No, I'm not gonna do that. It, it would be pointless to make a review of SAO Bridge because it's in a bridge series. I'd be talking about how they've diverged off the path from SAO and made it different and how it's funny. No, I'm not gonna do that shit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what I thought was funny as the episode's happening in a reaction video, but apparently I can't do that either because f***ing Sony. So yeah, I got a strike. There's just this video coming out this evening. I wanted to let you guys know what's going on because again, community, we talk to one another, we care. And I'm not saying that in a facetious way. I care about you guys and I hope you care about me. I'm just pissed off right now and I'm letting my emotions fly and I don't care. I hate when I feel angry. I hate not having a smile on my face when I make these videos and not a smile like I'm gonna murder somebody smile, but a smile that's normally, you know, a happy, cheerful smile where I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. I hate this right now. Big old smile on my face because I'm angry and if I don't have a smile, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I got nothing else. There's no video this evening. Um, there will be a fairy tale review tomorrow. Uh, there will be a funny Friday tomorrow. Um, and I, there's a different form, or not tomorrow, there's a funny Friday on Friday, but I'm doing a bit of a different format. I'm actually gonna try pulling a little bit of inf inspiration from Markiplier for that one and actually just go through some playlists of videos. So I'm gonna do that. And otherwise, that's it. Um, I'm gonna contact YouTube so they can tell me to go f myself. And then I gotta wait for, uh, October. I gotta wait for about three, ish months for uh for my strike to go away once youtube tells me to f off so um yeah thanks for watching guys uh sorry you had to see me this angry but 
I think it got the point across, and um, hopefully some rep from Sony is watching and understands that I had no intention of infringing on your copyright because I am watching a show that is a complete parody of your show and not even a show you own and whatever music or whatever visuals you may have claimed are under a different format and uh, as far as I knew under fair use, I could be wrong, but f me, right? Anyway, I'm done. I gotta cut this together and I gotta cut this together. I don't wanna deal with YouTube. All right, I'm done. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.